everybody. Good Saturday night to you. I am actually going to try to stay very focused tonight. Um, I watched the Women's March today, of course, and I was really sad that I couldn't be there because I really wanted to be there. But I decided to write a letter, an open letter, to feminists because I think the left is totally using them. And so I wanted to read you my letter. So, of course, I'll be going back and forth from the computer to the screen, but... Dear Feminist, I watched the Women's March today on various live streams that were being censored from the comfort of my home. I long to be in D.C., not to march with you, but to plant seeds and try to open your eyes that you're being used by the left. It's a shame that so many of you have fallen for their lies and will so utterly blindly follow them that you don't even know why you hate white men. But that's the left's game. They want you so angry that you don't question anything that they tell you. If you don't know the definition of feminism, it's as follows. The theory of political, economic, and social equality of the sexes. Equality, not above one or the other. Um, there was a time in our history that we needed feminism. So we could own land, go to school, have jobs, vote. Though, if you look back in history, not all women wanted the right to vote. Because they didn't want a lot of the responsibilities that came with it. Um, today, you marched for women's rights. And per the Women's March website, we believe that women's rights are human rights, and human rights are women's rights. We must create a society in which women, including black women, indigenous women, poor women, immigrant women, disabled women, Jewish women, Muslim women, Latinx women, Asian and Pacific Islander women, lesbian, bi, queer, and trans women are free and able to care for and nurture their families however they are formed in a safe and healthy environment, free from structural impediments. So I'm left wondering why we can't create a loving society for everyone. Why must we be so divided? And if you're dividing people into groups, why were white women not included in the mission statement? If it's okay to be a bi trans woman, why is it not okay to be a straight white woman? But see, the left, they love creating division in our country. Look at how they've targeted the black community for so many years. They've attacked their morals, their educations, their work ethic, their families. It's totally shameful. So why does someone that is LGBTQIA get special treatment? This is a little excerpt from the Women's March website as well. We firmly, we firmly declare that LGBTQIA rights are human rights and, that, in our, and that, is, that it is our obligation to uplift, expand, and protect the rights of our gay, lesbian, bi, queer, trans, or gender, non-conforming brothers, sisters, and siblings. We must have the power to control our bodies and be free from gender norms, expectations, and stereotypes. Okay, first of all, it's not my job to uplift anyone. Yes, I'm a nice person, and I often do so, but it's not a requirement of anyone. Nor should it be a requirement simply based on who you like to sleep with. I mean, a lot of you haven't exactly treated Milo Yiannopoulos very kindly over the years, have you? Second, everyone should receive the same rights, no more or less. So you don't get a job based on being gay or being a lesbian. You get a job based on your skills and qualifications. It's common sense, ladies. It's common sense. We must have the power to control our bodies and be free from gender norms, expectations, and stereotypes. Give me a break. You can do what you want in your home, but when your fantasy hits my reality, <laughs> that's when it's game over, because I won't play along. Don't accept me to use your correct gender pronouns. Why? <laughs> because there's only two genders. Get over it. So, feminists, I ask you to take a good look in the mirror and ask yourself... Why are you wearing the pink pussy hat? Why do you hate white men? What legitimate reason can you come up with? Stop attacking masculinity. We need to teach our boys to become strong men because they are the head of the household. We have to teach them to be leaders. We have to teach them to be moral, to be hard workers, to be protectors, to be chivalrous, and to be loving. Stop persecuting them for the way that they're wired. Yes, men are visual and they will look at an attractive woman as she walks by. But there's nothing wrong with that. Nothing at all. Oh, and if you don't want him looking at your breasts, then don't wear the low-cut shirt. Because I guarantee you, it's not just men looking. Everyone is looking. Even all the LGBTQIA people. If we're being honest about it. Ask
ask yourself, why do you hate Trump? Why do you believe socialism works? Why do you believe that abortion isn't murder? Ask yourself, what in the world are you doing? Enough is enough. We need to start waking people up to the lies of the left. They want to destroy America, and they want to use you to do it. Don't let them. Love, Christy.